I remember my first journey when I was the Lord said to me I'm giving you this cross the more you are accessible and you are doing it depend on your responsibility your attitude I will give you more responsibility small cross small smaller small smaller smallest be bigger biggest To the end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom hello good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching me from god bless you uh, I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. This video I want you to watch is, um, you know, let me first and foremost say that I was not actually supposed, I wouldn't have probably brought this video here if I hadn't seen, you know, the, the necessity of bringing it. I saw the necessity, I saw it necessary, so I decided, okay, let me bring it here i brought it here so that before anybody will come and because i, I know that uh, definitely i'm going to offend some persons with this video here yeah sure i will offend some persons here now look at the title of this video i saw it before in my phone i screenshot it but then i almost was forgetting it before suddenly again something happened i saw something um, then I have to bring it. This is why Prophet T.B. Joshua is a practical Jesus Christ. Now take note here. When I watched this video to find out what actually made T.B. Joshua to be practical Jesus Christ, sorry. I tried very hard. I watched from the beginning to the end. About 11 minutes of the video, I started, I watched, and I finished it. And I really didn't see anything that made uh, T.B. Joshua practical Jesus Christ. Sometimes people do certain things for reasons best known to them. Um, and you know, me will point out the truth to you. When I read the comment, the comment I read, which I will show you, was the reason why I said, okay, that I must do this video. The comment, only one person had sense in the comment section the rest others didn't see anything that was wrong with this kind of caption tb joshua in this video did not present himself as jesus christ but then he showed himself why he is so highly anointed his experience and his early, everything will be here so i will play this video to you and then you you now be the judge if when one is talking about something like this, when you look at this kind of a thing, for Christ's sake. A human being coined this, either to satisfy the ego of the followers of T.B. Joshua, or that he is so foolish. I think I'm right to use this word now because... He has behaved as uh, someone that has no has no thinking faculty. You see, do anything to a, a man, but don't 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 blaspheme God because of man. Don't become so hypocritical because you want to be accepted, and so you want to blaspheme the name of the Lord because you want to be accepted. You want to belong to the majority. You see, I, I find out that with God, anybody who is playing, you know, with God in this form is actually playing with fire. Yeah, look at it. Him alone. Emmanuel. God is with us. Viewers, good morning and win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. You are welcome back 
to Emmanuel Fans TV. Yes, in today's video, we are bringing you two clips of Prophet T.B. Joshua explaining how he receives his promotion from God. The first clip is taken in the midst of a sermon and the second clip is taken in one of Prophet T.B. Joshua's old documentary. Always remember, in our spiritual work with the Lord, they are good and hard time. But true believers are simply recognized during hard time. That is, when the goings are good, Jesus is Lord. So also, when the goings are tough, rough, hard, Jesus is the Lord. Prophet T.B. Joshua is a kind of man that has worked with God in both good and hard time. In today's video, we are going to know how he received great and greater and even greatest anointing from God. So viewers, be blessed right now as you watch this video. I remember my first journey when I was, the Lord said to me, I'm giving you this cross. The more you are accessible and you are doing it, depend on your responsibility, your attitude, I will give you more responsibility. Small cross, small, smaller, small, smaller, smallest, be bigger, biggest. So I have not received that biggest. I'm just And I don't want to leave this world without receiving the biggest. Yeah. And I know how I receive big. And I know how I receive bigger. So if you ask me how I receive big, I will tell you it's a matter of time with God. And I lie at his feet. I, I learn at his feet and time with him. So, if it's issue of being bigger, biggest, and I'm just being bigger, I mean, just wrestle with bigger. I'm wrestle. But remember, I told you that what an undeserving blessing. When I'm weak, then I'm strong. Try to understand that. I'm using the word of Apostle Paul. That means when I'm blind, I'm seen. Then I'm seen. When my eyes is closed, then my eyes is open. Tell me, someone who is, you close your eye and you are going, that is made for you. Somebody who closed the two eyes and is going, is working among the people, that is my life for you. How many I'm able to see when the two eyes close? The two eyes is closed and I'm working among you. Is that not miracle? Is that not miracle? That is idiom. Ask God to tell you the meaning. Oh yeah, you just close your eye and begin to walk among the people. In this world, my eyes is closed. It's totally closed. I cannot see anything, but I'm seeing. But I cannot see physically, but I'm seeing. The two eyes is close. So if the two eyes is closed, how many you are you you will be able to see everything? So that is my position. When I'm weak, then I'm strong. Tell your neighbor. You more you need you, you, your your man or God need more fire. 
I told you, be bigger, biggest. I'm still wrestle with bigger. Wrestle. When I say something is wrestle, you are just wrestle. If you don't want me to go back to big, but I'm to go, I should go to a war. So do that celebration on your knees and pray to God. So thank you, thank you very much. This is Prophet T.B. Joshua at a prayer mountain. Guided by the Holy Spirit, Prophet T.B. Joshua came to this prayer mountain to seek the face of God. Like prophets of old, he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights as prayer and fasting opens the door for God to enter. It was at this very prayer mountain that Prophet T.B. Joshua received divine anointing from God to start his ministry as he raises his arm to heaven and then falls prostrate into pray he received a covenant from God concerning his calling only he and God know the divine message that was revealed to him at that moment concerning this experience prophet TB Joshua said I was in a trance for three consecutive days then I saw a hand that pointed a Bible to my heart and the Bible entered my heart and my former heart immersed with the Bible immediately. Then the awareness came and I saw the apostles and prophets of old with someone who I could not see his head because he was tall to the heaven and suspended, which I believe was our Lord Jesus Christ sitting in their midst. I also saw myself in their midst. After a while, I saw a hand of the same tall man. I could not behold his face, which was glittering with an unimaginable light. But other apostles I could see their faces, particularly apostles Peter and Paul, prophets Moses, Elijah, and others. Their names were boldly written on their chest. I heard a voice saying, I am your God. I am giving you a divine commission to go and carry out the work of the Heavenly Father. At the same time, the same hand of the tall man gave me a small cross and a big Bible bigger than the one that entered my heart with a promise that as I keep pressing in his time and name, I will be given a bigger cross. But if I fail, the opposite will occur. I also heard a voice of the same tall man. I could not see his head saying, I am the Lord your God, who was and who is. Jesus Christ giving orders to all the apostles and prophets. The same voice said to me, I will show you the wonderful ways I will reveal myself through you in teaching, preaching, miracles, signs and wonders for the salvation of souls. Since then, I have been receiving in my vision every year according to my faithfulness to God, a bigger cross that means to me more responsibilities. The Bible that entered my heart symbolized spirit and life, the Holy Spirit. God's word is spirit and life. He does nothing without his word. Yes, viewers, the Bible says in the book of Romans 8 verse 16, it says, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirits so that we become children of God. Prophet Tim Joshua has worked in all spiritual battles and dimensions. Are we talking of the levels of the deep, the deeper and the deepest level? Are you talking of the healing, the deliverance, signs and wonders and all of God's blessing? This is why he said, I don't want to leave this world without receiving the biggest assignment from God. Um. Okay, let us read let us read the the comments i want to read the comments and i will round off I, I won't say much in this video i've got nothing to say the video said it all the top title said it all and this is the mindset of many if people will come to this kind of channel and saw this thing and only one person had his senses correct amongst many of them that were there then something is wrong 
I must tell you something is wrong. Sincerely speaking, something is not right. Oh yes, something is not right. So I'm going to play it, screenshots, the comments that people made. Good morning and win today. And uh, this is the title again. This is why it be prophet TB Joshua is practical, is a practical Jesus Christ, is a practical Jesus Christ. So we now have so many Jesus Christ. Whoever may have taught them, taught this person this nonsense, I do not know who may have been responsible for this stupid thing that he put here. Now, but then the more, you know, uh, troubling thing is that of all the commenters, look at them. This one is hallelujah, glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your love for mankind. Thank you for the, the cross, Lord. Thank you for salvation through Jesus Christ. Thank you for the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. No, nobody saw anything bad with it. This one, thanks for bringing this timely video to us. I truly appreciate the efforts, keeping the legacy and our faith alive. Amen. This faith now is in the practical Jesus Christ that is A.B. Joshua. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, we don't know which Lord Jesus is being thanked here now. Is it T.B. Joshua now that is being thanked? This one said, Daddy T.B. Joshua, may your soul rest in perfect peace in the Lord. Amen. Oh, my prophet T.B. Joshua, I love you. So you see it that all of them, all of them, none of them had anything to say about the title except one. This one, T.B. Joshua was from God. It's the true, it's, it's very true since the one God revealed to prophet T.B. Joshua to me. Several times I will see the face of Jesus and he will change to be prophet T.B. Joshua. Even a few months before he passed on to glory, his face changed. His face changed to be like Christ, Christ-like. He was indeed a carrier of his presence. So this one is also affirming the fact that T.B. Joshua was a practical Jesus Christ. Maybe I'm the one using words because the man used is present. Present continuous tense. You see, is. So even, okay, present tense. See, so look at it now. T.B. Joshua was from God and it's an affirmation that he is practical Jesus. See, all of them shouting hallelujah. All of them shouting hallelujah. One may say that is a reaction to the video itself. But it's debatable. Because now the only person that had sense amongst them all is this guy here. Let me bring his comment. Yeah, this is the only person that had sense in all of them. Magaga Mokumi. I have to I have to call his name because he, he, he makes sense. Please fix your English. He was a mortal man and he doesn't deserve to be called practical Jesus. This is the only person that made sense. All of them. The rest, others were just, you know, typing nonsense. And that is what they have come to believe. That is the truth. That is what they have come to believe. Divine anointing from God. T.B. Joshua was a practical Jesus Christ. He oh, is a practical Jesus Christ. According to him. So, um, you have watched the video um, and you have seen the comments that people gave. You saw the comment that people gave and you saw that it was only one person. Only one person that was actually with his senses there. The rest of us, I really don't know what happened to their thinking. And that is why it became very necessary that I should do this video to correct some of this nonsense even though that it is normal that we are talking and uh, people will be accusing us of being jealous people will be accusing us of being poor uh, somebody said that uh, in another video where we saw practical human worship somebody said i was <laughs> i was broke that was why i brought it what else can we do now say we are broke they say we are poor they say there's nothing they have not said but all the same god is glorified so i will leave i will leave you with your mindset 
I'm sure that some of you who are followers of TB Joshua are here and you will not be happy that I am bringing this on. It's not about TB Joshua Knight, it's about you. It's not about, about Evelyn Joshua Knight, it's about you. TB Joshua is gone. Now when you begin to worship him like God, you will go to hell because you are an idolater. God is God of the living, not the God of the dead. Uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are living. That's why God is linked with them. Now, but I do not know what TB Joshua carried that can even be equated to that of Abraham or that of Moses. Moses saw God. Moses, God said, I speak with him mouth to mouth. God himself said that he honored Moses more than any of his prophets that has that had been before Moses. And because God didn't want him to be worshipped, when the day God killed him, God buried him by himself. God himself buried Moses by himself. So, um, I will leave it, I will leave you guys to um, take a decision on it as I wait for those that will insult me as well. But all is well, <laughs> you know. At the end of it all, every one of us will give account of what we have done. Then Jesus will look you in the face and say, Go to TB Joshua, whom you have served while on earth. I don't know if you know that song. Last night, as I was dreaming, that, that song is a very wonderful song. God bless your soul. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Let me read your comment in the comment section. Till then, from me to you, Shalom.